This is, this is a pretty serious election. It, 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 and the world, not just Americans are looking at this. The world is seeing which way America will go. Will America be sane? Will it be literally the epicenter of justice and truth? Will we carry out the provisions of Washington and Jefferson and Lincoln and Martin Luther King Jr.? Those are the heroes of the world that inspire people to be brave and courageous. And this election marks a very distinction between those two issues, between Barack Obama, who believes in policy, or Mitt Romney, and I'm not saying this in, a, in an arrogant, um, nasty way, I don't know what Mitt Romney believes in. From one group to another, from one dinner to another, from one fundraiser to another, where is his depth? What does he believe in? What does he value? Does he have vision and passion for everybody, for the wealthy and the poorest among us? What does he see? So this marks a, dis a very distinctive um, path that we can take. And if you want the House of Representatives to be more than a rubber stamp for Wall Street or Tea Party activists or ideology or dogma or ignorance, then someone like John LaFerlin, who has the competency, he is informed and probably most important, the depth of integrity that this country should aspire to. We have to change the, the, the tenor of the talk in the House of Representatives. And, and it is. The enemies of all of us are ignorance, arrogance, and dog. And as a physician, what's the antidote to that? It's competency. It's knowledge. It's integrity. Those are the things that will turn us around. Norman Cousins, who used to be the editor of the Saturday Review, some of you may remember his name, had a fabulous quote. Knowledge is the solvent for danger. And that's what we need in the House of Representatives. We need it in the Senate. We want, you want someone to discuss the issues of the Middle East, as complicated as they are, with a Muslim Islamic state like Iran, allying themselves with an atheistic government in Syria against their own people? How do you deal with the Egyptians or the Libyans or the whole um, complex region? You need someone that has an intellect to be able to analyze and understand those issues. And the issues of climate change, where there are still people that say humans aren't causing it. We need to have an intellectual base in our government that is able to understand the issues, analyze them, reach out to the best of us uh, in America, and pursue those goals. Someone once said that no one for the rest of eternity will see the world through your eyes. And that's true. The house needs John's eyes. They need his skill. They need his heart. And they need his integrity. And we all need to spend some time in this very short election to make that happen. Elect John LaFerlin for the House of Representatives. Thank you.